Hello everyone, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning in to the Divine Masculine Energies. And we can begin with the first card. I am so deeply ashamed of my actions, I can't face you right now because of the hurt I caused you. Can you ever forgive me? My beloved Divine Feminine, I'm feeling an awful lot of regret at the moment. And that's given rise to feelings of being unworthy of you, being unworthy of this love, feeling that I've messed it up, feeling that I deserve to lose you, feeling that you wouldn't have me back, feelings that you'd be better off without me. You can help me move through these heavy energies by moving into a state of forgiveness and compassion, above all for yourself. Once you light enough energetically, I will too. Because when you move into a place of unconditional love, communication will resume. I haven't felt very loved by you in these last few months, even though it was my fault that I did everything I possibly could to push true love away and then felt upset when I seem to have done so. But you can connect with me here. You can love me in this place. It's just that I'm very hurt in this place because of what I've experienced in the past, because of my beliefs about love, about true love, that it hurts, that I'm going to be abused, that I'm going to be abandoned. Really love me in this place. It may I may need a lot of love here, but if I if I need a lot of love in this place, then you do too. So connect with me non-verbally here. Love us both here, using our unique ways of communication, sending over multi-dimensional information. Commune with each other's high selves, really seeing each other, really hearing each other. Because in spite of this, in spite of this thingy, in, si in spite of this regret and unworthiness, I really am feeling so nostalgic about about you. I'm reminiscing on the memories of the good times we had together. They were the best times of my life, even though I may not have admitted it at the time. But there's, but there's nothing else. But I've had no other memory or experience that can touch that, touch these memories. So thank you for the blessings that you gave me there and the blessings that you're giving me now by loving me unconditionally without agenda except to love me except to wish for me to be happy it makes me feel safe with you it makes me feel safe to approach you because i do need to feel safe to approach you but in the meantime i'm feeling safe enough to accept your unconditional love without suspicion I understand you're a being of loving kindness and there's no need for any harsher emotions. I feel warm, not knowing joyous feelings towards you. There's so much I feel like I know about you that I can't put my finger on. I might not know very much about you're on 3D, like what your favourite food is, but I know everything about you at soul level. How can this be? You remind me of something amazing. I'm not sure what that is. And we are coming closer to each other. We are coming back together. I will no longer have to think about you as the one that got away. And it will work out well in the outcome because 
We have good memories together. So be prepared for sweet times together. We're going to go through a period of mutual love and generosity. A time of pure romance sparkled with innocence. Expect to be given flowers or our connection to be strengthened. Chaos. So things are feeling a little bit chaotic at the moment. It's okay. It's just a period of upheaval. It's just the stuff that's coming up to be cleared. So if you're feeling chaotic, if you're feeling weak, it's just the chaos and the weakness that's leaving. And there's nothing more you need to do than to let feel your feelings and let them pass through. Because we're going deeper and deeper into love. And every time you do, you'll upheave everything out of alignment with that love. And you'll encounter more blocks. As you go deeper, resolve, go deeper and hit more. Don't expect a steady stream of love like a soulmate relationship. It's not like that. It's always deeper. Your love compounds. Relax into it and deepen your mastery of unconditional love. And as we are drawn closer and closer together, we'll both be so happy to leave stuff behind. People, emotions, lower energies, we're moving into something better and taking what we love with us i.e. one another. We're moving forward to better places, greener pastures, leaving old habits and patterns. Moving forward to calmer waters, it will bring extreme peace. Movement, maybe a trip away. Movement forward, letting go of toxicity. We're serious about this, we won't settle for anything less. I look at you and I know that you're the one. You're my everything. I don't trust many, but I can be vulnerable with you. Your prayers are being answered. Clarity is coming. Expect forward movement in the current situation. I'm admiring you a lot. I'm not only amazed by your gorgeous appearance, but your beautiful soul as well. I never had intentions to hurt you, and, and I want to say sorry. We've both decided to get rid of everything that makes us unhappy and we no longer perpetuate negativity by holding on to baggage. We're putting our past behind us and going forward into a whole new world of opportunities. You no longer have to feel abandoned or rejected because you look forward to our future together and nothing can hurt you anymore. We're heading into a new environment. Unlike the monotonous environment we're used to, we may be used to, a struggle is reaching its end. Sometimes it can take the form of misaligned relationships ending, or alternatively putting a painful chapter in a relationship behind us and reconciling. In any case, it suggests the desire to leave the past behind and move forward towards an unknown but bright future. It's also say, signifying that we're both ready to leave parts of ourselves behind. That weren't really parts of ourselves, but maybe we believe there were. Perhaps these, th these parts were the ones that prevented us from accepting love. Our blocks to accepting love we're leaving behind. If we've had, if we have old wounds that we've been nursing a welcome change is at hand we will be fi finally able to leave them behind sacrifice so the all we have to sacrifice is ego 
And ego doesn't exist anyway. It's not a real thing anyway. It doesn't serve us in the slightest. It's the upset and the pain and the blocks and the ego that we're leaving behind. The misaligned beliefs about not being able to have love, the blocks to receiving love. All of that is all that we're leaving behind. So in truth, all that we're sacrificing to be together is nothing. I didn't know what love was until our fated meeting. I pray that God will unite us soon because you are my destiny. I love you till the end of time. No, I honestly didn't know what love was until I met you. But then perhaps I still had a few lessons to go through to actually differentiate between what love truly is and what it wasn't and what it's not. And believe me, you, I may have looked on the outside like I was having a great time. But in truth, I was going through it to just as much as you were in my own way. I'm going through it now. I'm going through some real dark contrast now. So please have compassion for me as I do so. But those harsh experiences were necessary for my emotional healing and for really stepping into my own power so I can step into love with you. So please be understanding of, of my journey and what I had to experience because every experience we've both had has been absolutely necessary. I was so disempowered before. I was so disconnected from myself before. But now I'm, I've undergone a transformation because you have. And I'm really coming into my personal power, my independence, my self-discipline, my confidence, my assertiveness, my decision-making abilities, which obviously always mirror yours, my uh, alignment and my beliefs, refinement and my intellectual abilities, my ability to bring ideas into reality so that I can bring my fantasy of loving you into eternal reality. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a brilliant rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.